what's good welcome back to the channel it is the empress oracle if you are new here welcome and if you are returning welcome back this is a general energy read for the month of september that is also timeless so when you see it is when you see it for my collective water signs cancer scorpio pisces sun moon rising venus north node cross watcher whatever you are welcome I call on my angels at this time to protect and support me as well as the Holy Spirit. My ancestors, my guides, and all interdimensional beings to be one with me as I divine on behalf of the water sign collective at this time, protecting me from all outside energies and entities during this moment of divination. Okay, and I usually don't say that prayer on camera, so a lot of y'all been praying. A lot of y'all is prayed up. A lot of y'all are praying, need to be praying more, or are in this space of where... You are realizing the more you pray, the better, the better you feel. And the more um, the more divinely guided you are when you actually pray. So a lot of y'all finna get back into praying. Or you should. You just guide back into it. You finna get into it now moving forward. Okay. Everything you know, I'll let you know throughout the video. But right now, let's go ahead and get in your energy. So I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not gonna hold you. Uh, when I say, uh, as I was shuffling, I was just in and out of these really, I was in and out of distractions. It's a cricket in here somewhere. So, thank you, Mr. Cricket. Um, I was in and out of, like, being distracted and then super, super zoned in. So, I feel like that's kind of tiptoeing on this unfinished symphony energy. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to hold you. Some of y'all are dealing with a parent or people that have crossed over and are on the other side. And some of you, not all of you, are experiencing very deep moments or have come from the spectrum of very deep moments of grief and being very low by way of this person transitioning and really been in this space of, you know, unfinished symphony with this person. A lot of y'all, it was fated for y'all to meet. This nine times out of ten was a highly spiritual connection and or this relationship does have a lot of spiritual energy around it in regards to their ability to communicate with you from the other side in this energy of unfinished symphony unfinished business so we didn't get to be who i thought we were da, 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 that type of thing i'm here to let you all some of you all know that that person was from where you are from you did know him, him or her from a past life or a lifetime or a timeline and i feel you were together with this person and it was faded for how this story ended and i know it left you in a place of deep conflict and defeat over this this love and this union but um that's the way love was supposed to go with y'all um you came here to learn really deep spiritual lessons involving love involving love and these relationships are a catalyst for you. And I'm not going to hold you. I was told to read the Fates card before I proceeded on with the rest of the reading when I shuffled it. So it's like, be sure you read it. So it's also number 8. It's 17. 7 plus 1 is 8. So when it comes to the Fates energy that is apparent for y'all right now, I'm being told to read the message of Fate, Karma, acceptance that there are things you cannot change and knowing what those things are okay water signs the serenity prayer sums up the meaning of this card god grant me the serenity to accept the things i cannot change the courage to change the things i can and the wisdom to know the difference there are things in life you will never have control over the conditions brought on by the evolution of the collective by nature and by your past experience may be faded preordained by spirit for a greater purpose you cannot understand this lifetime i just told y'all i'll be tapped in it may thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. This late. I'm just letting y'all know. God, God be talking channeling straight through me. It may not be in your cards to understand why certain events occur, but you can but you can accept the mystery and work with but you can accept the mystery and work with what those events or 
and your current circumstances have to teach you. This is the wisdom contained in the serenity prayer. So a relationship message. Other people are who they are. You can't change them. The challenge is to accept them as they are and not try to make them otherwise to suit you. This is a time to look at how you attempt to mold people to fit your view or how they should be so you can remain in the relationship and avoid discomfort. What if who they are and whatever is happening between you and them in the situation is perfect from the perspective of spirit? Now is the time to accept what you cannot change, even if it means that you honor yourself, spirit, and the other person by moving on. Love unconditionally for each of us is, our, is on our own journey and we cannot direct that of another. Be aware that this relationship is indeed faded and you are meant to evolve into a better version of yourself as a result of it. Prosperity message. Your experiences concerning prosperity and abundance are beyond your personal control right now. You are being invited to accept what is unreservedly. This could be a temporary situation seemingly thrust upon you by outside forces, but there is an underlying purpose you can't see that has been determined by the fates. It could be a situation you are unprepared for and you may not understand <coughs> you may not understand how it'll benefit you in a moment. <coughs> Do not fight the situation. Ride it out and see where it leads. Surrender to it and the serenity you need to make good choices from here on out will be given to you. You will indeed flourish. Protection message. It is difficult to understand why painful things happen to good people. Fate is a mystery after all. Yet what we do with our circumstances, the way in which we respond to life's challenges, is how we rise up to greet our destiny. Now is one of those times to be aware of your powerlessness to change certain situations and surrender to acceptance. Hang in there. Life will only get better. Act as if you believe that, for the only thing you can control right now is your attitude. When you align with the fates, being mindful of what you can and cannot change, serenity will come to you. Told y'all. That's all I've seen up in through. That's all I've seen up and through here. And with this parental care, I'm, I, I, I noticed this. I glanced over here, so I'm going to bring this energy here. And connect these two messages. Okay, so a lot of y'all have been healing a lot or you're being asked to heal a lot. Uh, shedding this pain, this pain body, releasing a lot of energy, releasing a lot of pain, releasing a lot of frustrations. The energy and motion, because keep in mind you are a water sign. Exercising helps heal your bodies, your mental, physical, emotional bodies. This new exercise program in this Night of Wands is maybe y'all are used to starting working out and then stopping. This it, it it can it can be this practical healing healing your emotional body can be this practical through transmuting what it is that you are experiencing that is out of your control that you cannot change at this time with these people these situations these lovers these experiences it is time for you to this unfinished symphony is like maybe you be stopping and starting and be having these gusts of energy when it comes to working out or finishing what you start in general especially around working out though I feel. It's time for you to lock in and don't and don't step out of this energy because exercising helps heal you. It helps heal your anger. Helps heal your. It helps you emotionally mature. It helps um, funnel a lot of that passion, that rage, that that I'm getting passion and rage <laughs> that that is brewing through you because of the things that are not in your control because it's bigger than you. It's bigger than you. It's bigger than you. This is bigger than you. This is spirit. The spirit said this is faded. This is where it had to go. You the shadow, the shadow energy is conflict and defeat in the spiritual unit. Some of y'all are feeling very defeated. A lot of conflict, especially with this person, whether this is in the physical or in the spiritual realm. For some of y'all, this is a spiritual connection that you have with someone in the physical that you are feeling defeated by. But this faded energy is letting you know that's not the energy you need to be in. Say the serenity prayer and get to a place of acceptance so that you can understand the bigger picture at play. Everything is not going to make sense to you right now because it's not supposed to. When it comes to you and this person, when it comes to you and this you, when it comes to you and you and this. But I have to, it, it's, I have to speak on this because this was in the shadow. It's about you and this union. Whether this is a 5D connection, a 3D connection, someone that has crossed over, 
whatever the case may be. This is healing from what has what has happened between y'all, what you all are experiencing, have experienced the tumultuous energy in the midst of it and the acceptance of where it is now. Healing your emo emotional body is definitely happening through uh, exercise. Stay physical, get physical, keep that lymphatic system growing, growing and going. Yeah. Come to the edge. Come to the edge. Come to the edge. Unfinished Symphony new exercise program. Come to the edge was also a part of the earth sign reading. So you could be dealing with a fellow earth sign or someone with earth in their chart. Or maybe you have earth in your chart and you should go look at that one too. I'm feeling compelled to read Come to the Edge. So it, that was the, the other one was an 8. This one is a 9 for 36. Courage, taking a leap of faith, overcoming fear, and accepting risk. Facing the unknown is the only choice you really have right now if you want to progress. It's okay to be afraid. Now's the time to take a risk that is not calculated. To feel the exhilaration as you ready yourself for a leap of faith. Spirit is present, so let go of fear. You're called to express your true self. Listen to your heart and soul and not your head. Come to the edge and discover that you can fly. You must step into the unfamiliar so that you may find your miracles. Whew. Relationship message. It's scary to be truly intimate with someone, to allow him or her to see all of you, especially the parts that you've kept hidden and protected. Now is the time to take that risk and let yourself be seen, truly seen. It's important that you speak up, voice what you need, state who you are, say what you hope for. This is not the time to play it safe, but to take a leap of faith. You'll be glad you did. If you're seeking a relationship, the same applies. Take one step toward the gods and they will deliver what you truly desire. Prosperity message. If there was a time for you to take a leap of faith into the unknown, it is now. It is a perfect moment to take a big risk. The unknown is the only choice now. And if you come to the edge, you will discover treasure beyond your wildest dreams. Allow your courage to lead you in spite of your fears. You don't need to know the exact form of what you're going for. The essence is more powerful is much more powerful and spirit has a way of delivering an even better version of prosperity than you could imagine. Take that step. The results will be amazing. Protection message. Fear is the is leading the way into places you don't need to go. Most of what you fear at the moment is an illusion stemming from her old belief that's not even true. Now is the time for courage. You will not be lost at sea. You will not watch everyone else get what they want in life and you are left alone and unloved. Oh, the drama of it all. False evidence appearing real is hovering over you. The more you dwell on fear, the more it will become real. Ask yourself, who in me is afraid? Love that part of you. Ask, is this true and real right now? The answer most likely is no. Give yourself a hug. It's okay to be scared. Courage must be summoned. In spite of your fear, even when you're not feeling confident, spirit will always catch you. And I have been winking a lot lately because I feel like I've been having my angels and spirit guides like doing little things that are like a told you, like wink, wink. So it's like a little from earth, from fellow earth angel to you. Do your big one. <laughs> that energy um i've been in with the little wink wink sprinkle sprinkle that's a little sprinkle sprinkle do not allow false evidence appearing real to have you live in illusion at this time and so this hermit energy with no place like home mm, virgo season alchemical energy right here no place like home with a hermit. There's no place like home within your heart space, within your sanctuary, within your inner temple. There is no place like home. And when you retrieve to this space and when you come home to yourself, when you intentionally go within and block out all external extractions and you come in and you lean into your light, you literally, you literally withdraw your power and energy from the outside world and you bring all of that power and energy and focus in on yourself. Virgo season. Virgo. Virgo card. Now is the time for you to be within one in harmony with yourself. I have parental care. This is this is giving heavy, 
heavy inner child reparenting energy. If you have a a, a, um, a parent at this time, I don't know. I feel like some of y'all, you know, cry to your mom, cry to your dad. Um, surround yourself with 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 the parent that leaves you emotionally secure and seen and heard. The parent that you can trust. The parent that gives you sound advice. The parent that just listens. Parental care is really helpful right now because you are doing a lot of inner child healing. You are just in a very again, except this shadow, this right, this relationship, the loss of this person, or the conflict around this energy, this relationship. It has definitely been one of like major self worth and lessons of self worth and understanding, and and it's been a catalyst for you. Your perspective of this is 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 being asked to shift. This is your shadow work. Shifting out of this conflict and defeat in regards to what it is that you see and feel and sense around this spiritual union, I feel. Because the energies didn't come out in the, even though this is what your shadow is working on and working through, the energy isn't in reverse, you know? So that lets me know this is a, this spiritual union is something indeed that was in fact real, you know? Maybe that's something that you have been questioning. No, it, it's, it's, it definitely had, it comes with spiritual lessons. You know, and sometimes that's what it is that you need to accept that the lessons that come with this, again, it could be a past life karmic energy, a past life soulmate energy. But if you have stepped out of a cycle or understanding that this, this, what is it, what you are experiencing now is fated to happen to help you come out of this cycle, unfinished symphony with this Knight of Wands energy to finally push through and follow through and finish. To be a catalyst to help you collect all parts of you and, and, and go past 200. Go within to understand that and retrieve that. And I do feel like there's some good parental advice here for you. Or seeking refuge, insight, love, and guidance from a mother or a father at this time. I'm sorry if I'm yelling. I'll be forgetting this microphone. Oh, Lord of mercy. Help him. I hope I ain't been screaming, y'all. Let's get more energy around the signs of the times for my fellow earth sign gang. Oh, earth sign. Okay, some of y'all are dealing with earth sign or have heavy earth in your chart or should really go watch the earth sign reading. Excuse me, my fellow water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. <clears throat> this came out doing y'all pre-shuffle. Journey came over here to the left. I am paying attention to where this land. We have possibility and healing and metamorphosis. Yep. This was this this was part of your healing. This was part of your healing journey. <laughs> this was part of your healing journey, and it it it, it served as a catalyst. It's been a catalyst. For your healing journey to help you literally transform metamorphosis. Mm. 22, this is definitely one of my angel numbers. And I am a Cancer Moon and Pisces Venus. And this reading is definitely resonant with what I've been experiencing. So I'm not going to hold you like, thank you, Spirit. Because this was through me and for me and to y'all and for us right now. This was all a part of your healing journey. Karmically catalytic. Mm. These two butterflies look just alike with this new exercise program and metamorphosis. Some of y'all gonna really shape that body out of up in that gym. Your body, your your body, I feel morphs fast. Cause you 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 move that energy, that sweat, that lymphatic system. You push all that energy out. Very, you transmute energy when you're working out. You transmute all that rage and that and that pain and that fear. When you're working out, use that. Tap into that energy and beast on them weights. Beast on that treadmill. Literally, make your gym regimen alchemical. 
a time where you take all of what that energy that is fear-based, that is rage-based, that is hurt, that is pain, you take all of that in there in a gym and, and that's where you let it out. That's where you let it out. That's where you let it out. Woo! Heal that body. Healing the emotional body. Resilience. Because that is what you are. That is what you are. <clears throat> Any other messages for my water signs? I feel like the tower. Epiphany. When it all falls down. The tower is such a beautiful card to have here because it's given the energy of shifting out of a whole paradigm. Shifting a paradigm shift. And it fell over here with exercise programming on the left side of metamorphosis. Yeah. You you healing and transmuting that energy and pain by way of being in motion. Keeping your energy, emo your emotional body. You're healing your emotional body. It's heavy emphasis on healing your emotional body at this time. Through transmutation, through very conscious transmutation. Anything else? Oh gosh. I love it all these. You're also changing your money habits. You're generating when you um Ten of Pentacles, literal, physical wealth, abundance, prosperity, security. I feel like y'all are also able to improve your physical stability by way of healing your emotional body and transmuting this pain. I feel like a lot of my water signs wanted to have been in the space where they've been trying to free themselves of this. It's given like a pain body. Like you've been wanting to transmute this pain because your stability at this time is something that, you know, it helps you. It, 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 it brings you comfort, you know. And I feel like you're going within and you're realizing just how much emotional stability you really require and desire within yourself as well as within a relationship. Because the more emotionally stable you are, the more physically stable you are. And that's something you're going to discover when you go within. And you're going to be starting to pay more attention to what it is that you're feeling instead of suppressing them until they combust and you can't take the shit no more. You're going to create a regimen, a ritual. You should, you will, you have been. That's what you're actively doing in case you didn't know. That helps you heal and transmute this energy in a way that you can use it for your greater good. The King of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, to the Nine of Wands. Again, stable, generous, diplomatic energy here. Bouncing your divine masculine energy, bouncing your inner masculine energy, as well as being in a place of attraction to this energy. And just creating a found firm foundation for your prosperity. Sowing seeds, watching them grow. Having more than enough, literally living from the Ten of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. Like, are you kidding me? This is big, this is big money energy. This is generational wealth. This is longevity. This is what you're after and what you are aligning to. And yes, this is what you're pursuing. With the three of wands, you, this is what your eyes is on. You're setting your sails on. You're, you're setting your sails to see. In this nine of wands energy, you are in a place of where you are guarding. You're guarded right now. Because you have, you have overcome a lot. Physically. You have physically overcome a lot. 
you've been growing through it and you've been getting to it and growing through it. a lot of y'all could be have experienced in a lot of like i don't know nine to ones or someone like shit some of y'all have been escaping death y'all have been you feel what i'm saying making it out of situations by the hair of your chinny chin chin like a real wounded warrior you feel me or just being in situations that really could have took you out in regards to you know, plummeting your energy, how you feel about yourself, how you see yourself, how you view the world, your ability to be to be a go-getter. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of that energy, a lot of your inner warrior has, has you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> you ain't no spring chicken. Like, you're no, you're, you're no stranger to trauma, you know? And so at this time, I feel like it's a really major time of healing. This is a very pivotal moment on your healing journey right now. This labyrinth card is speaking to me, so I'm going to read it real quick. You are on your own path, and the labyrinth represents the simple fact that this journey will take you in many different directions. Unlike a maze in a labyrinth, 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 lab, Labyrinth, there are no dead ends or wrong ways. You will not always understand the route you are on, but you can either choose to be confused and scared or see it as an opportunity to learn lessons and discover strengths. This sign encourages you, to, encourages you to embrace where you are on your journey and resist comparing yourself to anyone else. Listen to your intuition and use that as guidance to face any challenges. Keep moving forward. The gift of the journey is not the destination itself. It is the experiences and the lessons learned along the way that help you, that have shaped you into the person who is prepared to reach that destination. Say it again. Keep moving forward. The gift of the journey is not the destination itself. It is the experiences and the lessons learned along the way that have shaped you into a person who was prepared to reach that destination. Like stumbling upon a labyrinth in a park or seeing one incorporated in a logo, this sign is an invitation to embrace the unpredictability of your own spiritual journey and the growth that comes along with it. A pivotal moment in your... I, a pivotal moment in your spiritual journey could be experiencing a Saturn return, major life changes in your career and or relationships. Embrace self-discovery. I can't make this up. I can't make this up. And my palms are itching. I receive. I receive. If your palms are itching, I receive. Receive. I receive. It is happening. The ships are coming in. It balanced the emotional body. I honestly don't. I want to get a message from the universe having your back. I want to get a message from the universe having your back. And I want to let you all know that right now you should definitely give this video a thumbs up. If it was resonant, clarifying, reassuring, uplifting, empowering in any way. Thank you for the like. That's a really great exchange of energy. You can also leave me a tip. Cash out PayPal. It is not mandatory, but it's always appreciated. You should choose love no matter what, okay? In the midst of it all, you should choose love no matter what. And you should choose to receive my monthly love letters, which is subscribing to my email and get the meditation for the month. Return to the elements with us and get the um, intention as well as the discount code for you to get what you need. Okay, um, spiritual bath. Be great for you at this time. This is an attraction bath, but the CPR bath, I have the CPR bath that is cleanse, protect, and renew. Help you cut some cords with this energy shift. I wouldn't say this energy isn't bad, but I'm not saying getting out of this energy or anything like that. But a spiritual bath is something that will really help you um, work through this level of acceptance and transmute out of this conflict and defeat to a, a higher level of spiritual understanding of what had to happen, what needs to happen for the betterment of all parties involved type of thing, you know. Helps you transmute some good energy with that spiritual bath. Um, and nourish. I say get nourish, a love me bath, and a CPR spiritual bath. And a potion oil will be really good for y'all too. 
mix and match those items and create different rituals with them and of course tap in with us on the journal prompt for the month to really help you see where you are really connected and need to come back home to yourself because you have this no place like home and hermit energy you're really in the place of needing to create sanctuary so please join the zane gang and get off get off in my tribe subscribe get your products personal reading if you need help if you need a vibe guide to help you transition and transmute this energy i'm here for you i am taking personals at this time this is your elemental reading shout out to my water signs my cancer scorpio pisces sun moon rising venus and north nodes and i will catch y'all in the next one love you nope well bye